Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a thrift haul. Yeah. Is it mostly menswear? Um, not oh. mostly. Probably about half, close to half. Well, I didn't go maybe. on the trip. No, so this, this is Dan solo thrifting. I'm going to control my judgment. No, you're not. No, no, I am. <laughs> People get mad at me because of my faces. <laughs> you can't help it. You can't help it. You can't help it. No, you look stuff up, though, so I, I have faith I... in you. Sometimes. If it's something that I don't know for sure will sell, then yeah, I'll look it up. Okay. But like, you know, our bread and butter basic stuff that I know for sure sells, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna look that. Is that I weird? Don't, I'm just looking at myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm still injured, and I had to wash my hair today with one hand. How'd that go? And blow dry with my. It, it, this is how it went. <laughs> I can't even do makeup because I can't open the thing. Oh, Y'all. Be careful with that. Slamming it around. You don't realize how much you use your thumb, and so you it's, can't. Yeah. I have stitches in it. If you missed our last video. Ugh. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, all right. Here we go. All Thrift right. Haul. Thrift haul. Ready? Yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, we're starting with menswear. Love. And then if you're not into menswear, this is the place where you can learn to do menswear. Right. Because you make a lot of money on it. You do. That's why I'm I'm picking it up. Oh, a, a two piece. Two piece suit. Yes. Okay. This is uh this is of mall brand. It's just it's Calvin Klein. So a lot of people don't think that's a mall brand. Would you like to expound on that? Um. Sure. Uh, Calvin Klein's men's suiting, I would consider it on a lower slash entry level tier of entry level. That's a good word. A lot of people wear Calvin Klein, so no shade. No, I don't. I'm not trying to throw shade at all. It's it's affordable. It is standard sizing wise. Like if people know what size they wear and it's yeah. going to fit um yeah this like this is it's not nice. even it's it's basic it's yeah. nice it's not it's not even wool it's a polyester rayon but when you go notice. to nordstrom rack to buy a calvin klein suit it's 400 dollars. yeah this is right a, off the rack this is like a 400 dollars suit easy even polyester yeah um it's black with a ghost stripe um it's a that's 40 a, that's a pinstripe that's like tone on tone it's yeah very it's like subtle a, i don't know if i can get it to there it goes you can kind of see it there uh it's a 40 regular which is a super um Common. common size so and it was six Great. bucks six so, bucks yeah so this haul is from have off day we should have said that in the yes. beginning oh my god y'all yep. this here okay uh, i didn't do our average cost of goods yet but i, don't, I, I left it inside <laughs> okay ready More i'm ready wear. uh classic navy blue blazer with the gold buttons nice nice yes this one's from uh lauren ralph lauren a 43 regular again the classic blazers with the gold buttons pretty much regardless of brand will will sell they really do they're so classic you know yeah i feel like we're about to we we had the dark <laughs> academia here's your taylor swift update okay all right update. we had the dark academia vibes and now we have the light academia vibes and her new album coming out in april is called the tortured poets department dead poet society exactly right <laughs> people have been making memes with Robin I know, Williams. Seen them. <laughs> uh, so taylor swift kind of like it or love it or hate it kind of controls the fashion narrative a little bit okay remember when lavender haze came out and everything lavender was selling remember when the 19 okay it, it, you get it uh -huh. so this i think this academic vibe's gonna come back like okay. full force all right robin williams style got it that's just my prediction okay i'm ready ready uh this is a vintage what, houndstooth houndstooth i think it's cashmere uh it's vintage burberry bang this is the old school logo with the burberries and that is burberry that is 1990s is, and before yeah that's how they used to do it people always in the ebay thrifters ask is this real or is it fake why is there an s feel that and tell me if you think there's cashmere in there or if that's just a soft wool i don't know i'm not sure okay we are not sure but yeah uh, you this is the thing that gives us away is like you see these wide, super wide lapels right here. Mm -hmm. This is super late eighties, early nineties. So. And we always know that fashion trends come back around. They do. So especially in menswear. Yeah. Exciting. All right. We've okay. sold tons of those Burberry sport coats. Yeah. 
Got another. Uh, what huh? was that? <laughs> Good lord. I didn't touch anything. What happened? I think you got an email and it was just very okay. intense. Okay. Let me go ahead and. No, I'm... I thought I was muted. There we go. Uh, another two piece suit. This one is black with a really cool light blue um, like window pane on it. It's a 38 short and it's from Hart Schaffner Marks. HSM. HSM. Put that in your title. Uh, this is the gold trumpeter. This is the the top of the line HSM suit. And a lot of people only wear the trumpeter. Yeah. So we put it in the title for sure. Uh, that will sell. It will. Made 38 in, made short in the USA. is a really good size as far as like people have to go online to find it. So that's great. Yeah, it's not something that's very commonly stocked in stores. Right. All right. So this is all, yeah, I got some, a lot of the menswear front loaded here. This is another really cool casual jacket. This is from Fashionable, which I've heard is how you pronounce this. F. Oh, I like how we did it with a French accent. Yeah. Fashion. Fashion. <laughs> uh, there you go. I've since been educated this is now a nordstrom house brand ah yes thanks friends right uh but this is like i said it's, that's cute it's super cool it's got the either real suede or faux suede elbow patches uh it's got some like, gussets right here is that what you call that when it's got this little yeah that's not a gus not a, a gus well it is it, it allows you to it allows do this for more i've never really seen it right here yeah no, i have under, the, under yeah. the thing yeah that's nice it's got the suede trim on the under that the is, collar see, too. See, that's dark academia. There you go. Some trendy person wants this. Yeah. And it's F, F dot. So that might dot. be the younger. It right. looks and like it, a younger. Yeah, and it's also, like I said, it has a letter size. It's just size medium. So it's a little more casual than, yeah. you know, like a 40 regular or a 42 or whatever sized. You would be surprised, and I was thinking about this in general, because I'm doing wardrobe for Dr. Phil, right? And right. so people come in and they don't know their suit size. And when I ask them what their jacket size is, they most of them letter size. Give me a letter size. Mm -hmm. So it might be worth putting. There are charts all over online. Yeah. How to convert to like what the closest letter size would be. For sure. Yeah. I mean, in a jacket like that, a medium, quote unquote, would probably be like 38 to 40. And so it might be worth putting in the title. So yeah. This is just from my learned experience that most people. They don't if know. they don't yeah. wear a suit every day, they don't know. Right. But what if you need a suit and you're like, I don't know, medium. I guess wear a medium. Because <laughs> I wear a medium t-shirt. Yep. There you go. Learning every day, yo. Learning. Okay. Got one more in this section of menswear. This one's awesome. This one's so nice. This is uh, John W. Nordstrom, uh, but it's 100% Laura Piana cashmere. Get out of town. Isn't that nice? That's so nice. So this is the Laura Piana label here. Right. Right there. It says fabric by... 100% cashmere. John W. Nordstrom is obviously a Nordstrom house brand, but the John W. is like the nicer line of, of menswear. I'd say. Yeah. So Laura Piana is a fabric manufacturer factory situation, right. but they also make their own clothes. Yes. So sometimes they partner with things like this, and those jackets are still worth good money, but uh -huh. when it's made at the Laura Piana place... Branded Laura Piana. Big yeah. money. Yeah. They are not created the same. Just yeah. because they use the fabric... If it just says Laura Piana, buy it. <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> we don't have many like flat line rules like that. That's true. That's one of them. Yeah, yeah. And they make women's clothes too, so keep they an eye sure on them. do. All right, check out this cool little Chico's blazer. Wait, this is fun. Yeah, nice little clearance. This was only a dollar. Iridescent. Uh, it feels like a taffeta. It feels like a silk. It might not be, but it feels like that. It's got some texture. It, it, it's not. It's poly cotton. Yeah, but you know, that's yeah. how Chicos do. Right. That's cute. All right. You do well with Chicos jackets. Yes. All right. I got another sweater from our friends at Charisma. Nice. Been seeing a lot of this lately. And we are picking this up and it does move pretty quick for us. It's pretty high quality. It, in my opinion. Yeah. In. This, what is this one? Acrylic poly spandex. I used to think all their stuff was cashmere because some of it is. Yeah. But it's not. Some of it's really, it's nice. They have like Angora blends and stuff mm -hmm, too, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this is a bread and butter for us, the Chico's Traveler. Come on now. Open 
black slinky cardigan. This one's a size one. Again, I put all the sizes for Chico's. So yeah. Chico's has their own sizing standard. So I'll put Chico size one, US, eight. whatever, eight, eight. Yeah. and then I'll put medium. Just to cover all the bases? Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> people search for Chico's in different ways. Right. Speaking Hello. Of, Whoa. Whoa. Black and white stripe. Chico's Travelers size four. Elusive size four. Somebody wants these. I do not, but I know, somebody right? does. Somebody has to have these. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking at what people are wearing coming into my fittings and trying to take note. Oh. And some people are rocking these big, bold prints. And okay. I don't know if it's in because fashion's a five year, we call it a five year lag. Okay. So the normal person is five years almost behind in any New York or London or Paris fashion trend. So that All still right. means it sells though. So you got to kind of keep an eye out yep. to see where we are in real time. All right. I found it. I think at least two, maybe three pairs of these. Uh, these are the J Jill wherever the full leg cropped pants. What's that sound? Carl. Uh, the wherever is similar to the travelers. Yeah. The and it, and it does say on the tag that it's the wherever collection. I would venture to say that this flips the fastest for us of J. Joe. Yeah. And that so specific wherever these, collection. Full leg crop, full leg crop. Yeah, but I got two of those for sure. So we might be able to lock those up. Um, this is cool. This is a Athleta. I love it's the new material. Yeah, I looked this one up with the style number, and, and this one does pretty well. Uh, I wish I could tell you this. I keep trying to tell you this material. It feels very unique. Storm flat thing here, pretty cool. And right? the, whatever this Athleta material is, it's new and it sells really fast for us. Yeah. It doesn't feel like normal Athleta or a Lulu. It feels. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to describe. It's a little dry fitty. Yes. Uh, it's very stretchy. Yes. It is. A little more it's, it's a little more substantial than like a lulu yep uh a and it, more, it's got a little more substance to it yeah it's a little windbreakery okay. a little bit a little, little bit <laughs> you'll feel it and you're gonna be like that feels interesting yeah that's the one put it in the cart all right this is a uh, cool black and white striped sweater this is oh. a little snag yeah oh, that's a, we can fix it it's jay mclaughlin i like this brand yeah i can i can pull that through it's a peplum. Here's what the tag looks like. It's very simple. There you go. We find Jay McLaughlin in closets with Eileen Fisher a lot. Yes. So it's the lot. same person that wears both of those brands. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. We got a combo piece. Sparkle swank top. What? Amazing. <laughs> I think okay. I have one of these for Gem and the Holograms Barbie. Uh, it's Chico's. There you go. Silver sparkle sweater tank top. Love. Sparkle top. Sparkle. Put sparkle in your title. Yeah. I don't know why people search search for it. Yeah. Uh, this is the T by Talbots striped uh, pleasure sweatshirt. This is a, just a top. This is a it's just a top. Yeah. It's just a top. It's just a top, but it's got the same the yeah. pattern and this stuff moves We've super fast. Sold this actual thing in a sweatshirt. Yes. Now this is the top version. The T by Talbot stuff moves so fast. I don't pick it all up. Like no. some of it's been through the ringer, but I pick most of it up. Yeah, just it's fast, quick conversions for sure. All right, this is cool. This is a Pendleton Western wool oh, shirt. Oh, that's super cool. Right? We don't pick mm -hmm. up all Pendleton anymore. It's mainly their Western and Aztec kind of stuff. For sure, yeah. It does well. Did you tell April? Yes. Yep. Got a one size Chico's fringy, what are you? Preparated. Yeah. Um, what would you call this? A cape, kind of? Mm, no. Not really. Well, it's a little poncho y. A little, little poncho y, but it's just like a, it just drapes. Wrap. Yeah. Uh, not a shrug. Not a shawl either. <laughs> Schwimmy, schwammy. <laughs> uh, that's something that's going to look great on a mannequin. If yeah. you have a mannequin and you have a piece like that that's like shapeless until uh -huh. you give it shape, yeah. that's worth the extra time for me. For sure. All right, you ready? Yes. Bird dogs. Yay, good find. Yeah, these are a size uh, 3230. Boom, 
for your boomstick? They say boom. <laughs> like boom. Like boom. In there. But this is a really good brand. It's still doing really well for us. Boom. It's You'll got a little it. hummingbird logo. And you might not know it's bird dogs, but if you know boom. That's right. Boom. These are, yeah, sell through on these is terrific. So. That's what we're going for. That's right. This Things also, that sell. also has terrific sell through. Uh, prices aren't super great, but uh, this is Perlis. It's like a Louisiana brand of uh, polo is shirt. Is that a crawfish or a lobster? It's a crawfish. crawfish. It's the crawfish polo. <laughs> People love a crawfish. So this is the authentic crawfish polo. And like I said, the sell through rate on these is spectacular. I'm not doing it with my other hand. Don't do it. <laughs> Um, check this out. I found a 3X Brioni polo shirt. Only would that be a 3X Brioni. That's not a 3X in any other brand on the planet. No, it's not, but. Brioni is such a good brand, you, you guys. Go. Brioni is one of the top, uh, menswear designers in, in the world. Probably. This yeah. shirt looks like an extra large to me. It does. It doesn't look like a 3X. So these Italian We'll see. Sizing, especially in the designer realm, can get really quite small. Yeah. In, a, in the U.S., we're used to a vanity sizing in every brand, really. Uh, a U.S. size small is normally a European. Medium, at least. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's it's just all perception. Size, to me, is crazy. Having worked with people all the time, size is so relative. That's true. But yeah. it's a way to get people to buy your thing. So we're going to have to be very crafty in listing that because it's going to get returned. Because if an American buys that as a 3X. Yeah, there's no way it'll fit. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Good no point. Way. Good point. All right. Uh, golf apparel usually does pretty well. This is from Straight Down. Um, I looked this up. Uh, and the, this is like along the same lines of like a Peter Millar. Mm. Um, that kind of stuff. So. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks like a summer comfort. Yeah. Do you want to show them the brand? I, I didn't even hear you what sure. you said. Sure. It's called Straight Down. Mm. And mm -hmm. there you go. They make polo shirts and stuff too, but the, the long sleeve mock neck stuff like this does better. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. All right. I grabbed a couple of these. I'm either going to lot these up or if I like them, I might keep them. These are Johnny O, which is oh, that's a pretty really popular good right yeah. now. Yeah. It's yeah. got the dude with the surfboard. Um, these are just like half leisure style, like really thin moisture wicking mm -hmm. quarter zips. Show them that. Yeah. Johnny O. They also make women's clothing. They do. Sell through is good on that brand still, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you're watching hauls from a year ago, just don't. <laughs> I mean, you can. But sell through changes so it does. fast. It, it sure does. I mean, like, Ula Johnson is not selling right now. And that's one of our, like, really? yes. Wow. Okay. You see, if you would have watched a year ago, Ula Johnson was flying. Okay, Chico's. Right. Wow, this is, uh, yes. <laughs> the Chico's design, which is what this label is, I believe is the precursor to the Traveler. It feels very similar. Yeah. Uh, this is something. This is, is definitely, definitely how, something. In the theme category of, of eBay, since this is orange and black, I'm definitely going to put Halloween. Yeah. Definitely. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Banana Republic men's jackets have been selling really well. Yes, they have. So I grabbed this one also. This one's got some... Uh, utility pocket action going on. I would call this a field coat, field, or, field coat. A, or a chore coat. Right. Because so it's got the large pockets on the chest and down here at the hem. This is from uh, Banana Republic Heritage Collection. Mm -hmm. so, this is a nice jacket. Yeah, right? Let me see. Get that in there. There you go. I love this. Uh, it's, yeah, un, just partially lined. Got the drawstring on the waist too. A lot of pockets on the inside. This thing's great. There's something going on with canvassing. We keep getting questions about canvas. Yes. So the inside of a men's jacket can be fully canvas. It can be half canvas. Or it can be fused. Fused. Um, some, there must have been a TikTok. There must have been. Because all of a sudden we start getting questions. We've not gotten questions about <laughs> canvassing ever. Right. And then we got like four in a row. Something yeah. happened. Yeah. So educate yourself on canvassing. Yes. Just like Google it. Yeah. Okay. Also, we take pictures inside out so they can see. Well, hey, sometimes. So, okay, then we need to be more clear. Yeah. And maybe put it in the listing. Right. Because we've been getting questions and that takes time. It does. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just letting you know what happens to us. Like, 
you know. All right. All right, we got a twofer. Uh oh. Easy wear, Chico's. This is similar to Travelers too, but normally, yeah, it's this. Uh, it's like a ribbed. Yes. Fabric and it yes. doesn't wrinkle, which I think a lot of people are into that. Yes, ribbed, very stretchy uh, tank top cardigan combo. Love. We take two separate pictures of this and then collage them together, kind of like this. That's mm -hmm. called the onesie twosie. That's patented technique. Mm -hmm. And we do it in photo room. <laughs> All right. We so that more. it's clear there's two there's two pieces. Right. Yeah. We got more J Jill pants. These are slim leg cropped from Pure Jill. Great. Not not faded. <laughs> yeah, be careful with that. The wash wear on those J Jills can be really brutal. Bad. Yeah. All right, we got some more Chico's Travelers. The brown one, because brown has been selling a lot. Brown is back, baby. It's back. Right? So this is like a chocolate brown one, and then I found another, like a, a darker, even darker brown. So hard to take photos of brown. Yeah. You're going to have to get a technique going for that. Yep. So that it doesn't look black in the photos. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, this is another Travelers. Come on, Sparkle. Right? This is a rose gold metallic. Okay, it's got... Open front cardigan. Yeah, they can't really see that. Dang, Not it's really. very sparkly. It's very sparkly and embellished yeah that's beautiful nice nice all right uh this is another pair of the j jill wherever forward seam slim ankle pant love that j jill tells you exactly what it is bless it's so great it makes it looking up looking up comps like, very very easy uh, a size so medium nice. petite also come on medium petite right uh, we got some more Chico's pants. These are size four regular. The Chico size four is really good. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's we just, don't find it very often. That's why it's good. Because supply are... and demand. When we talk about a good size, you know that's one of my biggest pet peeves in reselling is mm, the good size. Good size, bad size. The reason that this is a <laughs> good size is because there's not a lot of inventory. Yes. That's, for me, what makes it a good size. It's not because it's a plus size or it's a petite or whatever. It's a good size when there's not a lot of inventory, and so you're adding to a very few set of listings, so your chance of selling it's higher. Exactly right. Exactly boom. right. Boom. Boom. Bird dogs. Boom. Bird dogs. Boom. <laughs> uh, I had to get these Chico's Paisley pants. Yes, you right? did. You had to. Had to. They're just your style. Uh, aren't they? I think they're going to look great on me. These are a size. What does that say? Chico size zero point five regular. Yes. All right. Got some more men's khakis. These are Bonobos. We've been finding this more. Yes. Uh, I don't know if these have a day of the week name. These are tailored fit. Uh, size 32, 34. No, they don't have a day of the week name. So. Some of the pants do. But yes. these dudes that wear these pants, they know. They come on. They buy them. It's quick. They don't return them. Love. Love it. All right. Got some black frame jeans. Come on, frame. These are the Le Crop mini boots. <clears throat> Yep. Some of the frame does really well and some of it does not. I looked these up. These, yeah. these still do good. Yeah. So just look it up and make sure. Uh, and colorway can matter too. So yeah. in that, I know that the light wash didn't do well for us. We had one, but mm -hmm. the darker wash and the black did well. So put that in your search. Yeah. Different colors matter. Come on, gingham. Right. Chico's gingham pants. Blue and white. It's got some buttons down here on the uh split cuff the cuff that's the word i was looking for thank you uh these are spring pant these are size two love uh, yeah so a two in chico's is a large yeah and it is the most searched size on ebay for US chico's. size 12. that's right remember we did the size two experiment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was fun days that was when we were all drowning it was fun Another days. really nice sport coat. This is from Suit Supply. It's another, it's a 38 short. Um, it's got a very nice, like a, almost like a bird's eye pattern Suit on it. Suit Supply is such a good brand right now. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, it's got Italian wool. There's one button on the cuffs that's cracked, but we'll be able to swap that out. You first. want to show them the label? Some people are visual learners like me. Absolutely. There you go. They'll see it and then they'll lock it in. Yes. Into the mine catalog. Right. 
We got another Chico's Travelers. Uh -oh. uh oh, got some edge. <laughs> right? Got the little sheer sleeves here and the. <laughs> there are some ladies I dress that would want this. For sure. For sure. Yeah, some ladies, like, they, the first thing they say when they come in, they're like, I don't want to look like a Karen. Like, okay. All right. Okay. Noted. <laughs> and they would love that. What about that? Ooh, Ooh, this is a Karen. <laughs> Sounds, I think this is just, girl. It's probably just, you know, closed incorrectly. Or yeah, off. I don't think it's that asymmetric. I think it's just, this is a straight up Karen stitch. Could it have been stretched a little bit? No, nope. it's just button run. <laughs> so this is a, yeah, see? There we go. It's a very preppy piece. Yeah. It looked edgy for a second. Not so much. Uh, an open knit. Yep. Uh, this is like a fringe detail it's it's a play on the uh what do you call it the tweed big chanel that's a play on yeah. that it's the same way you would wear that all right got a couple pieces to go it's another open knit this is the women's tommy bahama which sells better than the men's tommy bahama stuff <laughs> strange right it's like lululemon sells way better in men's for mm -hmm. us than the women's stuff but also tommy bahama sells better in the winter for us than the summer that, yeah, that's also true. Because people are going on vacation. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I need some summer stuff. And the Tommy Bahamas are in habit. It's true. But we do. We do. Yep. All right. A couple pieces to go. This is this orange button up short sleeve. We've got the ruffle on the back. This is Acris Punto. Yeah, it has a stain on it. A little, it's tiny, like actual tiny, though. So okay. Let me show you guys this tag. I this thought is, that was the front, which is why I was making that face. There you go. Yeah, then that's the back. back. The back has a lot going on. A lot going on. Yep. <laughs> All right. And finally, this is from Soft Surroundings. Wow. I would have picked this up too. I know, right? There's no way I could, I would have left this there. Size yeah. medium, Soft Surroundings, lots of embellishments going on. It's beautiful. Yep. Cool. I think you did great. Is there a st there's stains on that too? Just Goodness. Little so for those of back. you wondering, yeah. we put blue, so our, we have assistants that go through the clothes and steam them. And then we put blue painter's tape on the stains because what we had found, this is your hot tip. Hot video, tip. Is that they would find the stains and put it in a pile. And then when I would go to stain treat, I couldn't find them. Right. You were like, where's the, what? what's wrong? And it was taking <laughs> a lot of time. So any anything in your process that you can do to like get rid of that wasted time. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> really? That was a delayed firework response there. No idea. What is going on? No clue. Anyway, so the blue painter tape really works and it doesn't damage. Yeah, it the doesn't power. it doesn't leave any residue or anything like that. So we put it on a roll. We I mean we have it on like a Yep. I don't know where it is right it's, it's over there. <laughs> it fits right on that like one of the masking tape yep. dispensers. That's what we have it on. And it's right where they steam. So they yep. can put it on there right away. And then it saved us. I still have to stain treat everything, but it did save us a lot of time. Yeah. And a lot of aggravation where you're like trying to find the stain again for the third time. So we're trying to pick up a stuff, stuff of stains. Know, but it's so hard. It sneaks by. It sneaks by. The lighting in the thrift stores is just no good. I think that's by design. It has to be. It has to be. So like, let's make it really dark in here. Right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. I think you did great. Thanks. Please put the cost of goods here. Sure. I'll do that. Because I want to know. Here. <laughs> Not so much here or here, but right. Right here. here. Uh, and I think you did great. We, we've only been shopping on 50% off days, so it should yeah. be a pretty good cost of goods. I think so, too. Maybe I'll, yeah! go, maybe I'll go back April tomorrow. Yeah! Woo! Come say hi. It's the end of the video. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, about to, we're about to get out of here. Hello. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
journey. Oh, are you jealous? Are you jealous? <laughs> You're gonna have to go kick him out. Bye.